The Circular Living Lab is a new initiative on the Polytechnic campus of Arizona State University. Leveraging practitioners and researchers across campus, the CLL works as a transdisciplinary lab to design, test, and pilot circular solutions that can be scaled to solve complex sustainability challenges. The lab is an applied project furthering the goals of the Rob and Melanie Walton Sustainability Solutions Service that functions as a plastics micromanufacturing laboratory. We research and test both the machines and the models of grassroots recycling and micromanufacturing, creating valuable data on process manufacturing, product development, and economic opportunities, contributing towards a circular economy. Starting with plastics, our microfactory is taking plastic waste and turning it into new products for use and for sale on ASU's campuses. Today, we're giving you a tour of the lab and the process of how we take plastic waste streams around campus and turn them into new products. Once plastics are cleaned, collected, and sorted, they're ready to shred. Shredding is the first step in turning used plastics back into new durable goods. Our process uses a 5 horsepower electric motor connected to twin rotating shafts and a total of 46 steel blades to break down the plastic into small flake. Here we see PLA plastic, better known as 3D printer filament. Like all plastics we receive, they come in a variety of shapes and sizes and must be broken down to allow for further processing later. Plastics are loaded into the hopper in small batches where they are pulled by gravity into the blades. Most plastics require two to three passes to produce a consistent flake of under 10 millimeters. Injection molding has long been a primary process for producing plastic products in quick succession and with a high degree of replicability. Plastics are melted in a chamber to a specific temperature that allows the plastic to flow in a molten form. Pressure is applied that ejects the molten plastic into a mold or form. The mold itself is preheated to allow the plastic to transition easily from the heated chamber into every small corner of the mold without the plastic locking in place due to rapid cooling. The plastic is allowed to cool in the mold until hard enough to remove. Splitting the aluminum mold in half reveals a new finished product. After further cooling, the items can be cleaned up and excess plastic, called flash, can be removed to be recycled again. Plastic extrusion is similar to injection molding, but instead of compressing the plastic with a rod, extrusion uses a specifically engineered compression screw to blend and shear the plastic. This creates a much more uniform blend of plastic, which helps when working with different colors of plastics or plastics from multiple sources. Plastic is fed into a hopper where gravity pulls it into the flutes of the compression screw. Inside the barrel, the plastic is heated to just above its melting temperature, but not so hot that it degrades. Pressure builds within the chamber and forces the molten plastic out of a die and into a mold. It can be extruded in a variety of sizes and profiles, and, like most plastics, additives can be mixed in to produce even higher performance qualities depending on end user need. Extruding into steel pipes produces plastic lumber, a wood replacement that has many beneficial features. It's weather resistant, it doesn't rot or decay, it is bug resistant, and its production removes would-be waste from the environment. The hydraulic or sheet press is another method to process plastic into a wood substitute.
Plastic flake is evenly distributed across an aluminum sheet within a steel-bound frame. It is slid between two heated plates that are a part of a hydraulic compression system. The plastic is compressed and baked above its melting temperature for up to an hour while the molten plastic slowly flows into all corners of the mold. The result is a square sheet of solid plastic, much like standard plywood. These sheets can be used as is, as tabletops, or they can be cut into other shapes and sizes to form a variety of products. A single 1 inch sheet of HDPE plastic can weigh up to 50 pounds and requires over 300 jugs of milk. We all know plastic is an incredible material that makes modern life possible, but the responsible handling of plastics is still a challenge that requires new innovation. Plastic products need to be designed for long term use instead of single use. That's why we're capturing single use plastic waste right here on campus and turning it back into goods that can be utilized for years and not just minutes. The CLL is working to help communities with plastic waste problems turn trash into opportunity through innovation and responsible design.